the, the reason I do this is because I, I want business owners to have a really, really nice life. Today, we're going to cut this bit, right? So, hey, we're live. Well done. Whoa, whoa. So uh, today we are talking about a busy day. And today was a really busy day. And you remember I told you in the past that busy days are, are part and parcel of life. Uh, even as well organized as you are, as, as beautifully prepared as you are in your business, you're still going to get busy days. And I want to just take you through what a busy day looks like for me in the environment I've created uh, because it, it's off, you know, if we're looking to help business owners create a, a a business that loves them back, that gives them lots of money, lots of time, lots of uh, opportunity, then, and I've done that for myself, then you want to sort of know what the downside of that could look like. And the downside is when you have busy days. And like I said, you can't help it. They will, they will come up the perfect storm. And today was a perfect storm. So let me go through it. I started off this morning. I got up a little bit late. The clocks have changed in the UK and I haven't quite got my rhythm back. And so last night watched a film and uh, that last that went on a bit late. And so this morning uh, I got up a little bit late. So I was up at 6.30. That's late for me. I normally up so sort of 5, 5.30. So today I was up at 6.30 and uh, I came downstairs, made some coffee, went out in the garden and got some fresh air. I did a bit of work because the spring is here. We have got really nice weather here in the UK. And so I decided to do some work in the garden, quiet work, you know, because I'm very respectful of the neighbours. And uh, so I did an hour off, you know, lifting some logs and moving them to one side and picking out some weeds and clearing some some bush, bushes with a clipper and stuff. So I did some of that work. It lasted about an hour and I built up some, some internal heat. By the way, I always start off with a pint and stuff and then I go out and get some fresh air, weather permitting. And so today I didn't do any journaling. So normally I'd, I write a bit of a journal about for five to ten minutes, maybe five minutes about what my day was like yesterday and what my day's gonna look like today. So today I spent the time in the garden and I didn't really uh, feel I needed to to journal. And so I got straight into my day at around, um, must've been about 7.30, 7.45, made myself a cup, cup of uh, hot water with a tiny bit of tea in it and a coffee and I, and I got some cereal, sat down at my desk and uh, started planning my next ad campaign for an hour and so, so so from about eight till about nine i started i was doing that building my ad campaign i tend to do 50 minutes and then a 10 minute break so i got up for 10 minutes went for a walk uh, you know around the house and you know um, maybe i can't remember i go in the garden for five minutes just for a breath of fresh air probably but i, I typically stand up at least if i'm sitting down i typically stand up and do something on at my stand-up desk which you can see behind me which is a working environment so excuse me if there's stuff all over it Anyway, so I, I did that, and then I had a call, my first coaching call of the day with one of my coaching clients. We've done some really cool things with him. He has uh, sort of not quite doubled his income, but we're very close to doubling his profits, and it's been about, it's been about, I don't know, six weeks we've been working together. Now, I must tell you, you know, hand on heart, it doesn't happen that quickly many, many, many times. He happens to be an accounting client of mine who's chosen to do some coaching with me, and uh, so I knew him really well. He was started up as a result of the pandemic and stuff that we did. So uh, he started up a new business to help his family out. And I thought, who better to help with coaching than, than him? I don't normally take startups for the coaching program. It's too intense. But I took him on because I could see his potential. He trusted me completely. So I know he would listen to the advice. He has implemented virtually everything we've talked about. He's just had one or two busy weeks where life got in the way. His car broke down and, and stuff. But, you know, but he's so close, that close to doubling his profits in six weeks since we've been working together. Really chuffed for him. He's done such hard work. He's such a diligent guy. And, you know, and I, I met his wife for the first time last week. Lovely, lovely couple. They've got a young, young baby. And what more could you want than for a young family to get up on the ladder of income because in business, you know, income buys opportunity, buys more time. So, so that that really was that. So that lasted till just just uh, about ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, I, I stopped for breakfast with the missus. We had breakfast uh, sitting in the city that overlooks the garden. It's really really nice view. The sun came out. It was delicious. I had some egg on toast. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, lovely hot coffee afterwards. I had a ten minute shut eye. Ten to ten. So ten to. Uh, 11 till 11 and 11 I had another call lined up now this was a sales call uh, I'm trying to think 11 o'clock yeah sales call and uh, they wanted to go through through uh, what the program does so I went through the sales call with them and they're going to think about it which is absolutely fine which is what I, I agreed to at the beginning no pitches and stuff we just talk about the strategy and something they can implement and if they want to go faster they can call me back so, so that 11 till 12 12 o'clock stop for a 30 minute break 
and I spoke to my mum. My mum has been put in, uh, we found my mum a new home and a nice, a really nice, friendly, professional environment. Uh, and she's in isolation. So I, kept, I phoned her up a couple of times during today to talk, keep her company to make sure she was okay. Because, you know, being in isolation is not great. It's there to keep everyone safe. But, you know, it is not, it's, not, it's not a great place for somebody who's of 83, lonely. But, you know, I kept her company, tried to raise her spirits. She's she's okay. She's doing well. She's she was looking forward to her new uh, her lunch at this new place, which was really cool. Which I heard later on was was delicious, and that was that was really cool. And then at one o'clock, I had a one hour coaching call where I was being coached, right? And we talked about my business. We talked about what I was looking to do. How maybe I don't add much as much emotion into into what I do as as I should because and I and I think you know look you know the the reason I do this is because. I want business owners to have a really, really nice life, a life where they can afford to spend time with their family. They can afford to take time off. They can afford to go on holidays to Disney or, or, you know, even to a whole season cottage, cottage, whatever. That's what I love. I love doing in the summer is going to whole seasons cottages. I'm not sure there's any left this year in England because everyone's holidaying in the UK. And, uh, and so we, we discussed that and they gave me a couple of uh, uh, tips and stuff. And uh, it was really, really cool that I got some really interesting tips. So now the, the next thing was, uh, that, was that took us from one o'clock till just gone two. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, just gone two. And at two o'clock, I uh, had a, uh, a session on my own with my business looking at uh, do, developing the ad. So I sort of got my notes here. As you can see, uh, I put my notes together and, and I started working on some of the things from my coaching call because I like as soon as the coaching call finishes, I like you know looking at, at what I've learned and what I need to do and how it's going to change my plan for the next uh, day or, or, or six days. And I know I'm taking uh, four days off for Easter. I'm, I'm actually decided I'm gonna, even even though I'm at home all the time and I've got plenty, I'm going to take four days off because I haven't been on holiday for absolutely ages. It seems well, it's a year. And uh, I, I want to just uh, just chill out a bit. So I was looking over the plans. How, what am I going to do until Thursday afternoon? And then I'm taking Thursday afternoon off right through to Tuesday because bank holiday. We've got a bank holiday Monday and we've got a bank holiday uh, Friday as well this this week. So I've got that all planned out. Uh, then what happened? We got to uh, a client. A client called uh, two clients. In fact, booked some calls in at that time, and I had two client calls. One was just checking on, uh, he apologized for sending his stuff in late for me to, to work on it, to help him out, or my team to work on it, to be, to be fair, it's, it's an accounting client. And so we just got that sorted out. And we also talked to him about uh, a fee reduction because with the pandemic, his business has suffered. And we feel, you know, he's been a client for sort of seven, eight years. You know, if I can't help him out when times are tough, you know, what is the point, right? So we've agreed, you know, we've agreed a, a little discount for while times are tough. And then another client called, he had some confusion about uh, tax. He was in a UK accounting client again. And so I, I spent some time with him explaining what the situation is, put his mind at rest that it was right. I, uh, you know, my team had checked the figures and I'd overlooked them and had seen, yeah, that makes good sense. So that, was, that took me to like four o'clock. And then four o'clock, I, I down tools, went out in the garden and I promised the missus I would help her trim some of the, uh, use the chainsaw to, I love chainsaw, I love power tools. Oh, love, you know. and, I, and I cut some, uh, some really overgrown uh, trees in the garden. We cut one particular troublesome one down. It landed in our garden. Fortunately, it was really leaning over the neighbor's garden. We were really worried. But I use my problem solving thing, not for business solving, just problem solving. I love solving problems. I use my problem solving thing to make sure the tree had the best chance. It wasn't going to be certain, but it had the best chance. And the missus helped me make sure we, we used leverage and, uh, and just a bit of thinking to make sure the tree landed in our garden safely. So we did that. I trimmed it down. I, I got rid of all, I chopped it up into smaller pieces for burning in the fire for next winter or the week, week winter after that. And uh, then I settled down. We had a cup of, cup of tea uh, with the missus in the garden. And that was, brings me up to here. I had a shower, came in and just did my life to you because I feel like I owe it to do one every day. Gonna, I may even drop it down to twice a week from next, from after Easter because I want to have more of an impact. And, uh, you know, um, I want to make sure that I can, I can just plan it a bit more and I might even do it in the mornings because I know you can watch it any time you like. So that was a busy day. Now, how much of that seemed unpleasant to me? Zero, right? None of that uh, seemed unpleasant to me. You know, calling my mum, talking to clients, getting coached, coaching, uh, dealing with client issues uh, making sure they were completely uh, aware of what's going on, uh, talking to clients, you know, talking to the missus, having breakfast. I'm now going to stop for dinner. And, 
just magic day and it was busy. That is that is what I call a quality busy busy day. You're doing what you love and you've got it all planned out and you know your day just runs smoothly. Nothing overruns, nothing underruns, everything gets sorted out in real time. And oh yeah, I did spend 15 minutes in between all of that just clearing my email box for the team had sort of sorted for me to tell me what I needed to deal with. So I just spent 15 minutes clearing that out. And uh, what am I going to do the rest of the evening? I'm going to have some dinner with the missus. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a beer. And I'm then going to uh, sit down and watch some Netflix. And that's my day. And I'm going to have an early night because it feels like I've done some exercise. It feels like I've done some thinking. It feels like I've added some value to some clients. I'm, I'm feeling good. And uh, today's been a great but busy day. I don't know. Like, if you'd like to have a busy day that you really love, then why not let's have a chat and just work out what insights I can give you about your busy days and how I can help you identify what needs to change to have one of my busy days, which is a busy day that you love completely. All right, this is, this is Gordon wishing you well. Take care and I look forward to seeing you soon. All the best, goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe right now and click the bell as well because that way you're gonna be assured of making sure you don't miss any of my videos, any of my thoughts on how to run a better business, which is all I talk about. I love business. I'm a bit of a business geek. And so if you're okay, listen to business geek every now and again for 10, 15, 20 minutes, that'll give you some insights into running a better business. Then you're in the right place. Click on the subscribe button, click on the bell and you won't miss a thing.